Aux états unis George Bush a promulgué hier soir la loi qui finance la construction d'un mur contre l'immigration clandestine. Une barrière de 1200 km sur la frontière mexicaine. Une initiative qui provoque la colère du gouvernement mexicain. Julien Colombani. On l'appellera peut-être un jour la grande muraille de Bush. Car le projet du président américain est pharaonique. 1200 km de murs de séparation entre les états unis et le Mexique. Complété par 1800 tours de guet, des milliers et des milliers de caméras et de détecteurs de surveillance. À un mois des élections législatives du mid-term, George Bush voulait offrir à ses partisans du concret. Le projet coûtera plus d'un milliard de dollars. Cela aidera à empêcher l'immigration clandestine le long de notre frontière sud. C'est ce que veulent nos concitoyens. Ils veulent savoir que nous nous occupons de notre frontière en la modernisant pour mieux la sécuriser. Pour l'administration américaine, la cible est claire. Ce sont ces dizaines de milliers de Sud-Américains qui tentent chaque année de traverser une frontière déjà très surveillée. Des dizaines y perdent la vie chaque mois. Côté mexicain, on juge très durement cette mesure de Washington, prise sans aucune concertation. Plus que jamais, nous estimons que la construction de ce mur et de ces clôtures n'est pas la solution pour résoudre le problème de l'immigration. Et ce n'est pas en construisant cela que vous garantirez la sécurité aux frontières, tant du côté mexicain que du côté américain. La Maison Blanche tient à montrer qu'elle est active sur d'autres fronts. George Bush a signé le texte pour la construction de 1200 km de barrières avec le Mexique pour endiguer le flot des clandestins, Flor du C. Signature, sourire aux lèvres. George Bush vient de finaliser le projet de barrière tant controversé entre le Mexique et les états unis Notre nation est une terre d'accueil, mais elle est aussi régie par la loi. Malheureusement, pendant des décennies, les états unis n'ont pas eu le contrôle total de leurs frontières et l'immigration clandestine a augmenté. Voilà donc à quoi ressemblera cette fameuse frontière. Un mur de 1200 km entrecoupé de barrières, de barbelés et d'un système ultra performant qui détectera toute tentative de pénétrer sur sol américain. Ici, vers Tijuana, les travaux vont déjà bon train. Sur toute la longueur, il y aura des caméras de surveillance contrôlées par la garde nationale. Même au péril de leur vie, les candidats à l'immigration clandestine ne se sont guère laissés dissuader par les sections de cette barrière déjà existante. What's happening, but what's going to happen? There's a hundred percent chance of terror 
in our country. This isn't like, oh, gee, you know, I fought like hell with the terror ban. I got it approved, ultimately, by the Supreme Court of the United States. I didn't want to have people come in from countries that like blowing each other up. And we had no terror for four years. We didn't have one incident. We didn't have any. And I could never talk about it. Even during the election, I couldn't talk about it because I didn't want to do that in the following day something happens. I didn't want to even give people ideas. We had no terror. None. We defeated ISIS. We had no terror. Nobody's ever done the job that we've done. But, you know, that is just emblematic. We are taking in people from jails and prisons. You know, there is a slight difference in those words from from mental institutions and insane asylums. We're taking in terrorists at numbers that are massive. They're massive. We're taking in massive numbers of people. We have no idea where they come from. We don't vet them. We have no security. They just pour into our country. It's 100 percent certain that terrible things are going to happen. And we have no chance. Like Dwight Eisenhower, he was a big deportation president because they were having a problem. By the way, nothing like this. No country's ever had a problem like this. There's never been a problem like this. Nothing like this. But he deported, you know, hundreds of thousands of people that came into our country illegally. And so we're going to, unfortunately, have to have a mass deportation because no country can withstand this. No country. No country can withstand this. So upon taking office, I will terminate every open borders policy of the Biden administration and begin the largest deportation operation in America. We, we have no choice. I don't want to do that. You know, I don't want to do that, but we have no choice. It's not sustainable. It's, a, it's not affordable. We owe, we owe $36 trillion. It's not affordable. But it's not uh, the drug lords, uh, the uh, the drug lords. Thank you, darling. The drug lords and the people that do this, the human traffickers are. I, I I believe they're among the richest people in the world. They have. We used to fight them, and they were tough, by the way. But you used to fight them, and Brandon Judd of the Border Patrol is fantastic, and the whole group is. The, these people are fantastic. They want to fight. They want to stop it. They're told you can't do anything. Just let everybody pour in. They are fantastic people. They're patriots. ICE, they, they, the way we treat these incredible patriots is so sad. But ICE, they would come in for me and they'd fight MS-13, one of the most vicious gangs, probably the most vicious gang in the world. And they'd go in and they'd just start swinging. I mean, it was incredible. Nobody's going to do it. I have friends in the front row. Those guys, they're tough guys. But they're not tough for that. They don't want any part of it. These guys are tough and they, they love our country. That's a rough job. And we don't give them the backing that we should. We're going to give our police backing. We're going to give them backing like they'd ever had, because we have to straighten out this mess. To stop the deadly drugs that are poisoning our people, I will deploy the U.S. Navy to impose a full fentanyl blockade on the waters of our region. I had meetings with President Xi. He was going to give the death penalty to anybody sending fentanyl into the United States. And he was all set to do it. And then we had a rigged election. He was all set, and then nobody obviously followed up. The drug cartels are waging war in America, and we will destroy those cartels. They're going to be destroyed. And I will use Title 42, as we did for four years, to end the child trafficking crisis by returning all trafficked children to their families in their home countries, and we'll do that immediately. But I spoke directly to President Xi a lot. And he was going to give them, you know, uh, they have the death penalty in China for drug dealers. They have no drug problem at all. They make drugs for us. Okay? That's what their problem is. That's our problem more. Because I think, I think, the, real, I think the real number is 300,000. That's a 300,000 deaths, destruction of families. When you lose a child, when something like this happens, the family can never, ever recover from that. They can never, ever be the same. And we're losing hundreds of thousands of people. They like to say 90 and 100. I've been hearing that number for so many years. But we're losing 300,000 and more than that. And uh, China can't do this to us. And I told them, I said, you can't do this. And we have a lot of power over China, a lot of power, a lot of economic. Uh, the worst president we've ever had, what he's done to our country, what he's done to the border with millions of people pouring in. People from prisons, from mental institutions, 
and terrorists are pouring into our country. They do nothing about it. And we're going to be paying a big price, but we'll, we'll handle the whole thing. But what they have done to this country oh, is very She had to win. The governor said, she's going to win, she's going to win, she's going to win. Then she, she failed. We have a man with us tonight, Tom Homan, who is central casting. He's central casting. And I'd like you to say a few words about the border and who's going to solve that problem and how quick are we going to do it, Tom? Go ahead, please. Look, I worked for six presidents, Donald and Ronald Reagan, and every president I ever worked for did something to secure the border. But no one did more than President Trump, the most secure border in my lifetime. The most secure border we've ever seen. And Donald Trump's going to do it again. We're going to lock the border down, and we're going to protect Americans. Because what's happening at the border right now, record number of Americans have died from fentanyl poisoning. Record number of migrants have died. A record number of women and children have been sex trafficked. A record number of known suspected terrorists across the border. There's one man who's proven he can secure the border, and he's standing to my left, Donald J. Trump, and he's going to do it again.